riches. We got Rob, now we got riches. Welcome back to another episode of Rob to Riches. And today we have the lovely Miss Whitney Young from yes. Posting Profits. Yes. How are you feeling today? I feel amazing. Yeah. I am so happy to be here with you. I'm happy that you're here. And I think the way that we met was so organic, you know? Yes. I feel like that yes. just set the scene for, for this moment to happen. Like you right. came with another guest to the podcast. We got the chat and I was like, come on the show. Yes. And it's so cool. Like I wanted to tell you this, but I was like, I don't know if it's corny, but um, I've been... I've been a lot of behind the scenes for a long time yeah. and like on my, what I've wrote down, I'm doing like this planner, like a 90 X planner. And I just wrote that, um, cause I always wanted to get back to like talking and speaking, but I just wrote that I, I wanted to get back out here. Like mm. even on Instagram live the other day, I was like, okay, y'all girls, I let you have it, but I, I got to get back out here with like some real stuff. So I'm like, so yeah. honored. Like this is like, um, I mean, I've been on podcasts, but this yeah. is like my first, first one, one back, back yeah. of like, yeah, like this is for the girls and I love shit. it. Yes, I exactly. I love that for you. I love Thank that for you. you. And off camera, we were having like a really dope conversation. Yes. I mean, we've had a few different dope conversations yes. now. We were talking about the relationship to money between, you know, before you were this coach that everyone knows now and when mm -hmm. you were kind of going through your struggle to get to that place. And I wanted yeah. to talk to you about what did that look like, that transitional part? Right. Um, that transitional part, I feel like, and I think a lot of people around me would say too, I'm really the same person um, because I've created my own relationship with money, right? Yeah. So a lot of times um, my zero might look like 10K or my zero might look like $10, right? But I've never really like shifted into something that we would ever know, you know? Um, I was at a comedy show the other day and they were like, um, uh, I forgot what they were talking about, but they were like, now he's like rich, rich, you know, like where you for you passed all the other stuff and you just regular. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I've kind of had that type of mindset for a really, really long time, you know. Um, so definitely just like keeping a great relationship with money that most people never develop because it takes work. Um, I've always worked on that relationship. How did you develop mm -hmm. something like that? Like for someone who's never had money before or mm -hmm. has a relationship with money that is, a, you know, is, is also included to like trauma or something yes. like that. How do you develop a positive money relationship? Right. So I think that I was most inspired of what I did not want to be okay. what I did not want to do what I did not want to have um one thing about me uh, I always say like before my daughter was born I was like no matter what I want her to have choices mm -hmm. you know like my mom um always was like hey here's crackers and peanut butter or here's this like we never got to look and my daughter she can like be like do I want red juice blue juice do I want Fiji do I want this water do I want sparkling like you know so that was really my drive to start to learn about money and um when I as I was like growing I've always been somebody who could get money like I love to get money I love the art of creating it like I said printing it developing it and stuff like that so the mindset helps you keep it you right. know so I just really um, got into like uh, obsession, right, with how money works. And when I realized that it was like a high frequency tool, it's not this paper thing that we have. Right. So when I realized that money was a mindset, you know, you got to really shift to, to shift your income. You have to shift your mindset Absolutely. first, you know. So I've had I've gotten a lot of money, but I was never like keeping it or growing it or multiplying it or understanding it. So I was like, what has to change? And I'm like, oh, I have to change my vibration about money. I have to start loving it. Um, I didn't like it because it, it never stayed in my household. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, she loves to shop, right? And she always had, like she was the mom um, buying stuff, hiding things in my closet. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like tags and stuff. And it was like a thing that she did, right? And it's like, I never had anybody show me a great relationship with money. No, you know? that, that's so true. And I It think was it's... one of the curses I had to break. Yeah, and it's important to reframe your mindset because like I was telling you too like I had the same thing money never stayed in my house because we always had my my, my dad was addicted to drugs and mm -hmm. so a lot of our money went to his bad habits and right. his addictions and his you know Ponzi scheme ideas to mm -hmm. like get rich quick so when I finally started my company I was very intentional on being like I want to build something that can last. Like, yeah. I don't want something that's just like a, let's get some, let's, let's, you know what I'm saying? Like hot mm -hmm. girls, like, you know, I've, we've been there, done that at some yeah. point, 
you have to transition. And so now like being in that time of my life where I'm building something to last, mm -hmm. my relationship with money feels so different. Like yeah. even if I get a lot of money with, I still am cheap as hell. Everybody will tell yeah. you, Stormy is cheap. Cheap. Yeah. So people, people will say that about me too. Like, <laughs> oh, you're so, you're so frugal. You're so frugal. But then like if a business opportunity comes, right. I'll spend it all. I'm all yeah. in. Right. So one thing that really helped me about like my relationship with money, so many people, right. Like, if if I are are you a are you a like don't put your eggs all your eggs in one basket like yeah, is that I your diversify. mindset? Okay, I diversify. that that's you, right? My mindset and my belief that I've worked on so much, I'm the girl that's like sis, all the eggs like all the eggs in one basket. Cause why? Cause it, it can only work, right? So I'm a big like I will invest in that major because I know that the return is going to be great. Whether the return is just my loss that I have to learn, whether my return is like a big ass return, right? Or whatever it is, right? So I had to start like believing and knowing that money and is a currency, mm -hmm. right? Like even when I pay my bills, right? Like there was a time, babe, that I couldn't even get bills in my name. Right. So when I'm paying bills, I love that shit. Like, at t 125 or, or whatever right. it is, right? Because guess what? Off my phone, or, or off my phone, that's where all my money comes. So right. I will pay the the extra, and I will Absolutely. pay like even because I opened my phone bill the other day because I don't know where all these fees are coming from. Like I was like, hold on, like where the where are I these new they fees? Said Fifty dollars a month, right? Like hold on, right? <laughs> so, but it's like I'm so grateful for the fact that I can get. I'm with AT and C now or whatever. You know, I'm so thankful that I can yeah. do that. My money makes my phone. My money makes opportunities. I was able to call y'all to let me out or whatever it is. Like you know, all of that stuff. Yeah. Because now, so I believe that money, when it when I send it out there, okay, it go do your work because yes. it can work way harder than me and Absolutely. you, you know, um, kind of like the same mindset of like, we're not going to hammer down a tree. We're going to sharpen our ax so much that it's just one chop. Hello. That's how I believe in investing. Yeah. That's how I, my mindset about money, whatever I tell this money to do. It's going to go gonna do, do, do that. that. And then I it's going to bring you back. Because I always tell people, I'm like, money should be the hardest working person on your team. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Your money should be clocked in. Every day when I get on live, Every I'll day. be like, go clock your money in. Like, yeah. go clock your money in. Because a lot of people just have their money sitting. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Like, if you, if we open up my, my bank account, like, I don't keep any money in the Me bank. Either. Like, at all. Like, I, I believe, like, it has to go to work. Yes. Like, it has to go to work. And even, um, I, I just don't believe in, like, I don't believe in it because guess what? When it's there, there's no movement. Right. Um, I always say money happens in movement. God happens in movement, right? Like so, like even if I if I need some money. Matter of fact, yesterday, right? Uh, someone wanted me to go somewhere, but I'm more like, okay, cool. If I do a a thousand dollar day, I'll come, right? So I was just like, um, and, and I just had this huge mastermind with my homegirls in town and and all of this stuff. So I'm rethinking my offers, right? Mm -hmm. And us as entrepreneurs, like, if you need to make a thousand dollars a day, okay, ebook on sale, you could do it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But one thing God is disciplining me this year is that I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't need to put up something for a sale. Like, my my funnels need to be better. My back office, my systems, like, that's really like where I'm. I'm like, I'm turning, um, I went from owning a business back to being self-employed mm -hmm. because of my product, mm. right? So I'm like getting back out of there because I was doing that all to be fulfilled. I, right. I like to touch my, my client. I like to be with them for a long time, like all of those things, right? So it's like, it's like doing that, doing that, like it's like. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Rob to Riches. If you're enjoying this speaker on this episode, you can learn from them inside of our mentorship program for women entrepreneurs. You can join today for only $7 for 30 days full access. Just go to our website, www.pinkprintfirm.com. Use the code trial at checkout to join now. The link will be in the description box for you to join today. Like you, I realized like, I want to make money different. Yeah. So I got to change my mind again. Cause even when you get in the mindset of like, okay, money's coming, it's flowing this and that, like you're going to hit the next level of the new currency of, of, of your new currency, you know, yeah. like us, like our information is our currency. So the dollars coming in, right? Like, it's not really about the dollars. It's how good your shit is to bring those type of people that pay you, Absolutely. not really the money, you know? Yeah. And that takes a lot to shift your mindset into that. 
You know, I don't believe in like yesterday, like when I was like kind of low and all of this, I'm not going to attract the money that I want with that. Or if I attract these clients when I'm on a low vibration, they're going to be the chargebacks or they're going to be the ones with the problems or they're going to be like all of that. Right. So So it's like, get your mind right with money before anything else, before you go get it. No, it's so true because (laughs) And if, like you said, if you do have a low vibration and you're getting money, it's not going to be the type of experience you want to have. And therefore, with you're going to continuously having the same with relationship. It. Like, it's the same as, like, if you get in a relationship with a yes. man or a woman, yes. like, what are you going to do before you get in a relationship? You're write down what you want, right? You're going to write yes. down what you want. You're going to write down how you want that man to be. Oh, I want him to be six, three. And, but this yet, when, you, blah, when blah, you're blah. getting money, you're not writing down, these are the things that I want to be able to do with money. These mm-hmm. are the things that money makes me feel. This is how I wanted to, you know, a, a true right. What I wanted to attract right. in my life. Right. We're not doing that. So therefore, we constantly are wondering, why am I in debt? Why am I in poverty? Why am I going through these things? But you're not changing how you want to feel with money. Yeah. Yeah. And a, and a way to feel like that too. So I always say like to get radical results, you got to do radical shit. Right. Work. So I'm like the corny girl. If you guys came and brought these cameras to my house right now on my bathroom mirror, right? Like I have bills that are rolled out to like million dollar bills, Mm -hmm. right? Like I do all of that stuff, right? Like I play with money, right? So it doesn't matter the, the, if you don't have any money right now, literally like go draw some, right? And believe it, what you want it to believe, Mm -hmm. what you want it to be, right? Mm -hmm. If you want red bottoms and you, you can't get them, like go cut out construction paper and tape it on the bottom. Like those red bottoms are going to show up. Like I'm really big on manifestation. I know we've gotten like it's like a cool like buzzword all this stuff but the way that energy works and the way that money is the highest form of energy right listen when i didn't have no money and i started making money and i was like okay all of these these girls are together like i don't even got it like that but i'm making money like it was all because my energy was so high yeah you know like my energy being high that's how i attracted that absolutely there, there's a picture on the internet and i i was remember looking at it and it's like yo i don't even have 20 dollars in my bank account but every single person was a millionaire on stage and you was right, right there and i was right there right yeah. so the only thing that could get me in there is my belief of money it, and, and it, what it, i deserve belief mm-hmm. is so important like it's because even new businesses they'll be like well, I'm new and I don't know how to get customers. Well, talk about what you offer them. Like, talk about the value of your product. Like, have a really most good people product. don't believe in their own products. So, it because someone told them to do it, someone right. asked them to do it, someone this and that. So it's hard to have conviction in what you do. Right. You know, like I believe in what I teach, what I my frameworks. I believe in them so much that it's like I'm always trying to create it for you no matter what. Like, I, I'm so convicted into it, and most people aren't in their product. Mm-hmm. You know, so how are you going to... That's why I said earlier, like, I will tell somebody to quit their business because you can't tr- attract money if you hate doing your stuff. If, as a consultant or a coach, when people call you and you're like, oh, shit, not her. Like, when you do that, right, you don't need to be coaching. Yeah. I, people will ask me, like, I will cancel the call if I don't feel good because if I don't feel good, I'm not transferring that energy. You might, I'm going to be like, girl, the campaign got away because I'm having a bad day and we're talking about millions of dollars. Yeah. If we're talking about millions of dollars with I'm having a bad day and you're upset, like, we don't need to have the meeting because those ideas carry. Absolutely. I want to talk about them. Like, I know we were kind of touching on the point of women in business and yeah. us feeling like we have to be masculine in order to show up for our yeah. business. When you're talking about these feelings yeah. and, you know, running your business and your meetings based on your feelings, like, yeah. how does that present itself for you? Like, what do you think about women feeling like they have to put on that masculine mask in order to have, you know, profitable businesses? Um, that's so good. A lot of times, like, I help women change their mindset to att- attracting like mm-hmm. we're, we're naturally not hunters, you mm-hmm. know, um, like me in business, like I'm a shark. Like I don't, I don't like to play. Like, it's like, if I want it, I'm getting it. Like it's mine. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. But at the same time, um, as I've grown in business and the more quality relationships it's because I became the woman that they need, that I needed to have those. Right. Like kind of like when I was like, Oh my man, all of this stuff, when I was like broken stuff, I'm like, I don't want to meet him like this. Like I know why I haven't met him is because I'm going to meet him in a place like this. Mm-hmm. or I'm going to meet him like he's going to be this caliber or, or whatever. So you have to like rise up to that. But those aren't the women that are just very like negative and da da da. I still believe that you can be a feminine woman, attract the business and call the shots. I'm very, um, I don't know if strict's the word, but people know I don't play. Like I don't play. It's like, oh, coach, she's 
on her shit. Like, yeah. it's like, I'm very much like, if this is like here or there, and it's like, oh, we're all ready to go. He's saying action. And I'm like, oh, I want a little bit more purple. Like, we're going to have to cancel. We're going to have to cancel all the people that are on the way. We're going to get the purple light. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very much like that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like... I can operate in a feminine energy. And I think like a lot of people, it takes a lot of practice because most girls and most women that are in business, they, a lot of them operate in survival mode. Mm -hmm. You know, like even me, like when business is slow, I'm still like, ha, ah! like my anxiety is like going crazy because a lot of times like women don't have another um, like the single women out here, like we don't have like a husband to fall back on if the business isn't right. bad. So I'm like being a mom, da, 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 da. even though I have a great co-parenting situation in my household, all the bills are still on me. Right. Yeah. So operating in survival mode is like a, a alpha or like a, um, a, a masculine trait. Yeah. So with that, you just have to work on attracting, find things in feminine energy that you love to become. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, like you'll start to attract that. But like guards, boundaries, the things that men and on these podcasts and other people tell you that is like, ah, like you shouldn't be like this or whatever. Those are the things of a feminine woman. Usually like you're, you're being a feminine woman, but it's just like more of a, st a stern yeah. approach. Yeah. And that I'm definitely like that. And I think that that is totally okay. Like yeah. I think that being stern, but also being kind and loving and nurturing in your business with your with your yeah. employees, with your partners. Yeah. Like, I think that that is okay. Yeah, if you ask like my clients or my students, like um, like I can pray with you and cuss you out. Like it's just kind of <laughs> like because I'm very results driven. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of um, coaches, consultants out here, like they're fine with getting payment. You know, and I, I went through that. Like, okay, shoot, just made ten k, uh, just got close thirty k. Like it was like cool. I didn't care, right? But now it's like. I know that that wasn't fulfilling. Like, I'm passionate about getting the money. I did it. I got it. Boom. Right. But it's like, it wasn't fulfilling. So if you come through my program, now it's one thing if you just don't do the work. Right. Yeah. But it's like, I don't, that's why I, I, I want you to be real solid before, like, you got to have a map out with me before we even decide to really do business. Right. right. But it's like, it's like, it's like, I want you to like, I want you to like, I, I, I don't ever want to be. You, you not to win with me, you know, mm -hmm. like I want you to have results. Like I don't like anybody not to have results. So like, I'm going to go hard, but guess what? I have to figure out how you like to be talked to, Absolutely. how you want to be treated. How, what do you, what do you take? Well, you know, some people, they, they don't, they can agree. They don't want fluff. So they're like, boom, 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 you know? Yeah. But it's like, if they don't want fluff and I'm giving this and they're resistant, I got to find a different reproach because I have to have you get a result. Yeah. You know? So with being so results driven, what, yeah. when would you say was like your last broke day? Um... Man, I just went, um, I don't want to say like a broke day, but I w just went through like a huge ass transition mm -hmm. that I felt broke, but not because of money. Right. Mm. So what did that um, look like? Oh shit. Okay. So I know a lot of people, they be like, talk about what you went through after you get through it. But I, I'm kind of like, still kind of like in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. So, so it was due so to the transition, mm -hmm. you're kind of feeling not money poor, but like, yeah, yeah, and and my my sales everything is everything way down. Everything is just below. Yeah, and I had to ask why. So I had um a lady come over um to my home for a map out, and if you that's my signature product, and if you come over, like I got your plans, I got I got the big ass post-it notes like all over my house, yeah. right? And she walked in and she was like. Whitney, I see everybody plans but yours, right? And then um, she wrote a verse on my on like somebody's piece of paper, mm -hmm. and she wrote that. And I didn't even look it up that day, and I looked it up, right? And it was all about stillness, mm -hmm. right? And I'm very much on the go, right? Like I'm on the go. I always want to help. I I want to do more than I am scheduled to do or booked for or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I'm very much like that. So when I read that verse, it was about stillness, and I was not taking the time to figure out my new offers, what I wanted my business to look like. Like I'm in a big like phase of like, I go through these hiccups and every, a lot of people go through them of like, I want to be out there. I don't want to be out there. I want to do this. I don't want to do that. And that's okay with entrepreneurship. Cause a lot of people believe that I'm the only person that probably out here, like I believe in sticking with something for a long time, but if it's not like in your flow and it takes so much work and yeah. to, to do Pivot. it, it's like, no. So yeah. 
I've just been asking God, like, yo, God, like, I know I'm still got to work with women. I know that I, I don't want to go through high ticket of people not paying, like, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? So I had to get really still. And in the midst of that, I was moving. And in the midst of me moving, it was like, hey, your apartment's ready. Hey, no, it's not. Hey, it is this and that. I had a, packed up my apartment. I was like, oh, do I get storage? And they're like, no, it's a couple of more days. I'm like, well, I'm a single woman. I can't keep right. getting movers and this and that and all of this stuff, right? So, and then I'm like getting hotels and I'm all maintaining this with a 10 year old, making it so cool, picking her up with Houston's and Benihana's. Like, right. it, we're in the U Haul. I had a little but plant really in there. It's because and it's like, and it's really because I was transitioning, and, yeah. but it's so crazy. Usually in transitions, money hold me up, right? Mm. But it was like, okay, cool. We got the credit. We got the money. But it was just like the apartment was laxed on like this. It's like everybody's going through those pipe busts. Like it was like the leasing office was lax and like mm. all of this stuff, right? So I was going through such a humble transition of like, wow, like I got the place. Usually it'd be like, okay, hey, who can I borrow the money from to get it? Like in all like my past experiences. But it was just like, oh, I know God had to like, I'm somebody who loves God so much and I always share his stories and everything that he's done in my life. But I've had a lot of great testimonies, daily testimonies, but nothing like where it's like, damn, only God can make this happen. Yeah. And so I feel like God put me in a sense of stillness. I really got in my word. I really got in my devotions. I really threw all of that stuff. I, I threw an event. People was like, mm -hmm. yo, like even my bestest friends was like, yo, I don't know how you just did that how, shit. What made you feel like you had to transition? Like what made you feel like this is the time where I need to... Um, I was looking at it. Uh, my brother um, passed on my birthday mm -hmm. last year, right? Like so, and since then it was like so much of like... It made me look at life again of like, okay, like, how should I get this together? You know, like, um, when I was like, oh, it's so hard to like contribute or I'm not from here. So like get home. And then it's like two flight tickets, like different things like that. And I was like, this shit I got going on that month too. Like clients was like, oh, I can't pay. This is it. Da da da. Right. Like, so I kept going through like a lot of hiccups. Mm -hmm. And I'm very great at maneuvering and getting through, you know, mm -hmm. and I've mastered that. Like, I mean, I was still throwing events, like pulling up in my U-Haul to my event, Period. like still throwing my event, Period. you know what I mean? And so like with that, I know that I can pass any test. Like mm -hmm. I'm so good at passing the test. Right. But I'm like, God, like. I'm going to always test the test, but like the test, like, when is this? When like, do I get to my, yeah. Like, yes, and I knew it was that I wasn't land. like paying attention. And I was like, um, I, I had to get that stuff taken or, and not even taken, but like taken enough of like, Hey, get with yourself. Cause wh when I was going through that, I wasn't sharing that. Right. Yeah. So I was like taking it and being with myself for like 14 days. Right. right. And it was so good because now I can like see my clear offer. I'm so thankful for what I did, but I God had to get me uncomfortable. Absolutely. So I move, you I, know, I feel the same like way. I got to move. Like I, 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 I probably said this already, but God happens in movement. Money yeah. happens in movement. And one thing, it, it might sound like weird, but I'm like, I love the challenge. So I, I was almost praying for something new. Like start me off from scratch, God. Like what, yes. it, what is something new? And so what that did is bring me back to like, I know I still want to impact women. I know I still want to do my map outs and stuff like that, but yeah. I just switched it a little bit, my yeah. systems and how I'm going to go about it and who I want to work with. But I had to identify that because I was a new woman. I've become a new woman lately, yeah. you know? And I love that too, that your business can change, you know, yeah. like your business can change as you develop and as yeah. you grow as well. Like, mm -hmm. and as long as you have like that core mission of what you want to do, yeah. the offer can change, the, the marketing can, can change, change. like yes. everything else around it can mm -hmm. change. And that's okay. Like you don't have to stick to, we have to be doing this type exactly. of thing in order to be our I, business. Like, no, yeah. you can start with soap and then transform and be like, we want to create yeah. body wash. You know, yeah. we want to bar soap to body wash or we want to yeah. do like, you know, we can pivot and that is okay. Yeah. My vision just always been help a lot of people and make a lot of money, yeah. you know? So I had to find that industry and I couldn't really like clock into that. I've been a bottle girl. I've been a bartender. Like I know all your favorite athletes, rappers. And yeah. now I just took that and I was like, I love that industry and what I was doing. I worked in the music industry and I was like, now I just got all these entrepreneurs and I manage them like mm -hmm. a rap, like, like, they're, like, like they're at rappers, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. so it's so cool that my job always You're, changes because mm -hmm. I know me. I, I know that, like, I like different things. I'm the girl that will rearrange my living room at every quarter. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, new decor. Like, you know, so I know that about myself. So I was like, let me create a consulting business 
that doesn't operate like any other one. Like if I love your project and I want to work on it and it, it's doing the numbers I need it to do, like I'll shut down everybody else because yeah. I'm loving what I do. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm more than a coaching session. Like I love to grow with your brand and I believe in being an asset to other leaders. Absolutely. And that takes a lot of humbleness and like knowing your role and knowing um, and a lot of confidence to be able to do that. A lot of people feel like shine gets stolen and all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I love to be like an asset to other people and that takes um a, a person that can be versatile and um very strong in their input and like stuff like that and i've just been blessed to be able to that's why i say people be like what do you do and i'm like i'm in the people business yeah y like you know um and so i am somebody it takes a a person that's very charismatic to be able to to do that and stuff like that but i enjoy it a lot i love mm -hmm. that yeah i'm so glad that we had the chance yes to sit me down too give me a hug so sweet, this was so good yes this was so good and i think that it's just like i said it just happens so organically and i yes, think that's I why it's that. so good because mm -hmm. you don't meet people in real life anymore you know what i'm saying right. you're always meeting them right. on the ig going down yeah. the dm so to meet someone like in real life and have that connection yeah i just think it's so powerful and i think it's a yeah. testament to everyone to like get outside go to the events yeah. like show up for your friends because you was just yeah showing up i, I for your was just showing girl. up for my home girl like yeah like yeah. show up for your friends be of service and then it's like god always will put you in the place that you need to be to like right and this put, pushed me thing. out my exactly my comfort zone like i was saying before like i mean not not necessarily my comfort zone like i i feel comfortable i love it yeah. but what i'm saying is is that it's literally like one of my things that i wrote down it like like you made it true i love that mm -hmm. so thank I you love so that much too. so give us a little advice for the new entrepreneur entrepreneurs um what you think they should know getting started okay perfect um for the new entrepreneurs kind of like what we talked about today um pivot don't be afraid to pivot you know always like stay in your expertise of whatever you want to do but that looks uh like a lot of different things so really just tap into what you really want and develop a route to get there i love that mm -hmm. thank, thank you, you so much for watching another episode of robs for riches yes Loved it. That was Rob, good, that right? That was so good. Okay, perfect. Rob to riches. We got Rob, now we got riches. riches.